we have an edible forest garden on a rainy April morning. Central element is uh, American persimmon tree. This is an early golden uh, American persimmon. And uh, she has a pollinator over here, a male that we keep around just for her and keep kind of pruned back. Um, underneath, on the shady side over here, are some josta berries, which bear really very, very nicely here. Underneath we have a cover of green and gold, which isn't flowering yet, but it's quite spectacular when it does. Small polyculture in this area of earth chestnut, which has edible tubers and attracts beneficial insects. And some giant Solomon seal, which has great edible roots and shoots. Uh, you can take a walk through here. These are Welsh onions some ramps, and there's lots of ramps around. Astragalus uh, is one of our favorite nitrogen fixing ground covers. Over here is um, toothwort, which is a wonderful ground cover with wasabi-like roots. Some cow parsnip and comfrey, more ramps and toothwort, and violets, some uh, miner's lettuce, you can't see it, but biding its time down here and waiting to germinate is a wild bean, which is a native perennial bean that will climb the tree and fix some nitrogen. We've got skirt and some more ramps. Over here is, um, is a foam flower, which we have a bunch of that attracts beneficial insects, and it's a shade-loving ground cover. Here's Gumi, which is a very nice nitrogen-fixing shrub that produces an edible fruit. And then in this patch along the front, we've got uh, a polyculture that's just been planted, so it's still pretty small, of Turkish rocket. It's the main crop here, and you can see these little Turkish rocket broccolis. We like this whole section, like the top six inches of this is what you chop and cook, like a broccoli rob, perennial broccoli rob. In between the Turkish rockets, we've got more stragglist fixed nitrogen, which is low and should fill in around them. And then we've got some Siberian pea shrubs that we're going to be um, um, keeping coppiced low for nitrogen fixation. Um, we have a nice uh, dwarf mulberry for uh, edible fruit and cooked leaves, although I don't think it's that great for either of those. But we also use this for um, uh, mulberry leaves for silkworm production. Um, heading towards the back of this little patch here, we've got some um, tiger lilies with edible bulbs. They're also very pretty. We've got a mint patch with what's called salad mint. It's a very nice mint for, uh, for eating. Um, and then a um, climbing spinach, which is a wonderful um, leaf crop from Central Asia that we really enjoy quite a bit. Um, that's a vine that's trained on the fence. We have several other vines that will be growing on the fence back here that just haven't yet started to emerge, but you can see some of their um, stalks from last year. This is a kind of uh, perennial snake gourd that we're experimenting with to see if it has edible um, tubers. I'm sorry, edible uh, fruits. So. That is one patch from our edible forest garden. And uh, we're very happy with it.